Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the pulsed operation of logic gates. Actually, this concept is very easy to understand. Just instead of taking the truth table every time by seeing the waveforms itself, we can also draw the output waveform. Sometimes you are not asked to draw the you are not you are not asked to show the output values like ones and zeros. Okay, you are also asked to draw the output waveform. Okay, that output waveform. Generally, we are giving the waveforms using the waveforms for our digital circuit is nothing but a pulsed waveform. So, pulsed waveform representation is we are having ones and zeros like this. Okay, suppose if any data is having one zero, one zero, one zero like this, then this is the representation one. Okay, high peak is represented as one, and it is low peak is zero. Again, one zero, one zero. This is the representation. Suppose if you are having two ones, two zeros continuously, then one one again zero zero. Suppose three zeros are there, three zeros again one. Like this, we need to represent one one zero zero zero, and again one. Like this, we have to represent. Now, when we are giving the input waveforms like this, pulsed waveforms to any logic gate, what is the output waveform corresponding to that? Okay, suppose consider consider the two pulse waveforms are applied to AND gate are applied to AND gate. Draw the output waveform. Draw the output waveform okay see here i am taking this is the first input this is the second input actually i have taken these for example and now i am taking the same inputs for our and gate also okay what happens to the output waveform when we are giving this type of waveform at the input of a uh, two input and gate okay so two input and gate this is the two input and gate with inputs a b a, B and output as Y. Okay, and get is nothing but is it is in the symbol of D. Now, what is the input? First input A, A is given as 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, like this. Okay, every time you have to start and you need to take this timing uh, representation always because for exact change of 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 okay and b waveform is having two continuous ones and three continuous zeros as per the previous example and again one so one one zero 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 and again here we have one see we should ensure that we should ensure that whenever we are changing the transition from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1, the transitions must be exactly at the same time. See, here we have a transition. Here also we have a transition. Here it is a continuation, but it is a transition. In the first waveform, it is a transition, but in the second waveform, it is a continuation. Here also, here. Because when the gate is applied such two inputs, 1, 0 or 0, 1, exactly at the same time, it will, it, it will have to change its state. Okay, so take the dotted line to the output waveform also so that we can easily draw the output waveform in accordance with this input waveforms. Okay, now coming to the output waveform Y, we know under operation. Okay, for example, take this truth table 0, 0, 0, 1. 1 0 1 1 okay when all inputs are ones output is one in remaining cases output is zero okay so when all inputs are ones so when both a and b are ones then only we will have output as one in remaining cases output is zero see in first cycle we are having one here one here so 1 0 1 0 1 0 this is one okay now 1 1 means output is 1 initially it is also at 0 okay initially every output is 0 every output is 0 so 1 1 gives 1 
followed by 10. 10 zero. Zero output is 0. And again 0, 1, 0. For any, if any one of the inputs is 0, output is 0. So that's why it is 0. And again it is also 0. Okay. This is the output waveform for the assumed input waveforms. Okay, likewise, we can take any type of input waveforms and correspondingly you can draw the output waveform based on this truth table. Truth table is very important. Okay, at least you should know how when the output waveform, when the output will be 1 for and gate, when the output will be 0 for this gate. Okay, now consider the same waveforms and apply it to the R gate. This is for 2 input and gate. Okay, it is for 2 input and gate. Now take two input R gate. Two input R gate. Consider the same examples. A as one zero, one zero, one zero, and B as double one, triple zero, and again one. Okay. Now apply these two to the R gate. Y, A, B. Okay, what is the truth table of R gate? What is the truth table of R gate? If any one of the inputs is 1, output is 1. So 1, 0, 1, 1. First case we have 0 and remaining cases we have output as 1. Okay, see here. Now let us check what is the output waveform for this type of R gate. It is starting from here. See, here we have ones. Here we have ones. So that's why output is one. Okay. See, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. One, one, triple zero. Okay. So in the first case, we have one, one. So output is one. In the second case, we have zero, one. Zero, one means output is also one because if any one of the inputs is zero then output inputs is one then output is one if all the inputs are zeros then only output is then only output is zero see again here also we have one but when this case comes at this point of time both the inputs are zeros so that makes the output to zero so exactly in this period output is zero again it is one one because here it is one here it is one Okay, this is the output waveform when we have given the same two inputs to the R gate. See the change in the output waveforms of this R gate and this AND gate. See AND gate we have at the initial stage we have 1 but R gate we have maximum of 1 sir. So only 1 0 is there. Okay, so when coming to the NOT gate for NOT gate we have to give only one input. Okay, uh, suppose if I am taking NOT gate not gate is a single input single output gate not gate so a and this is y so y is equal to a complement any type of waveform suppose if i am taking 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 like this so 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 suppose this is the input i have taken and y is equal to now it is C. It is starting from this point. Okay, before starting, everything is at zero only. Okay. Now it is one, so output is zero. Again, one one zero. Here it is one zero zero. Again one. This is the output waveform, which is nothing but a complement of input. Okay. In the similar way, we can also do the same thing with respect uh, with the three inputs also. Okay, let us consider uh, consider three input and gate. Consider three input and gate. In three input and gate, we are taking three inputs A, B, C means three different waveforms you have to consider. So let us consider one zero one zero one zero like this. And again, consider here also 1, 1, 0, 0, something a different pattern which is not as previous. And again, here we have 1, 0. Let it continue like this. Okay. 
now this is the symbolic representation of three input and gate so a b and it is c y so what do you mean by y y is equal to a into b into c which is a dot uh, product of these three inputs a b c okay what what and gate says when all the inputs are ones then only output is one in the many cases output is zero you better uh, in your initial stages if you are expert that is okay in your initial stages it is better to write what uh, the value corresponding to the waveform so 1 0 1 0 1 0 and then 1 it is 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 again it is 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 then see the output how the output is coming when all the inputs are 1 output is 1 so in the first case you are having 1 and here it is 0 here it is 0 0 if any one of the inputs is 0 then output is 0 and again here we have 1 again 0 0 continuously okay in this way also we can draw the output waveform for any number of inputs any number of inputs this is the pulsed gating circuits in pulsed gating circuits just we have given input waveforms as pulses and output waveform also observed based on the combination of inputs irrespective of truth table but whereas in the truth table we are directly taking based on the combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 like that okay from 0 0 to all ones but whereas in the pulsed waveforms we don't have any specific criteria which our input comes based on the input combinations that we need to take the output okay thank you